Hello, in this lesson, I want you to recognize angle pairs that occur with parallel lines. I want you to prove that two lines are parallel. We're going to be using this first postulate mainly. That is, if the corresponding angles are congruent. So if you have a line crossed by two lines crossed by a transversal, and the corresponding angles are congruent, the lines must be parallel. That's the key. The other one we're going to be using a little bit is if you have a point not on a line, there's only one line that passes through that point that's parallel. That's actually what makes high school geometry high school geometry. In other types of geometry, called non-Euclidean geometry, you might have infinite lines that are parallel. Oh, that's spherical geometry. Or you have might might have no lines that are parallel. That's hyperbolic geometry. We don't study those, but just uh, we kind of touch spherical geometry l later on, but we don't do too much with it. But that's what we're going to be doing in this lesson. Uh, if you look at the first video in the seminar, I go through how you construct using making the corresponding angles congruent so that the lines, are, so you can construct a line parallel to a line not on a parallel to a line through a point down on the line. Once we have corresponding angles congruent, then just like previously, if the alternate exterior angles are congruent, the lines must be parallel. If the same side interior angles or consecutive interior angles are supplementary, the lines must be parallel. If the alternate interior angles are congruent, the lines must be parallel. And the perpendicular transversal theorem says, hey, if you have two lines that are perpendicular to the same line, then those two lines are parallel. If you ever watch a parking lot being painted, that's where they use that. They want to make parallel lines, so what happens, they draw a line like through a chalk and they make all the lines perpendicular so all your lines are nice and parallel. If we take a look at example one here, I want to know, which lines are parallel given, these inf given the information you're given? And if so, tell me why. So if we take a look at the first one, we're told angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Those are corresponding angles. So the reason we're going to be used, the corresponding angle converse. You throw the word converse in there when you're showing the lines are parallel. When you know the lines are parallel, we don't use that word converse. Well, since angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding, what lines do they touch? Well, they make line A parallel to line B. Let's take a look at example 2. Let me erase this first. So on example 2, we're told angle 1 is 103 degrees. Angle 4 is 100 degrees. Notice 103 does not equal 100, nor is it supplementary. So we can tell me nothing. So not enough information. We don't, there, A is not parallel to C. We know that for sure, and we, don't, we need more information to include line B. So we're just going to say not enough information or none or not parallel. That's all we got to do on that one.